Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I want to, you know, thank, you know, extend a thank you to the Vikings organization, you know, for taking the chance, you know, on me, um, you know, coming to get me in the fifth round. Uh, I'm very appreciative of it. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to get to work. Um, and I just can't wait to get out there and uh, get it started. All right, Chris Thompson, we'll have our first question. Uh, you're muted, sir. Um, yeah, just uh, talk about your versatility and uh, your ability also to uh, return kicks. Uh, yeah, so uh, like you said, uh, versatility, uh, that's my strong suit. Uh, I'm someone that could, you know, play outside. Uh, when it comes to the offensive side, I can play outside, inside, in a slot. Um, I'm somebody that could, you know, stretch the field and, you know, make, you know, short plays and the long ones. And then uh, in the return game, I feel as though I was, you know, the best player in the draft when it comes to returning the ball. And, uh, you know, that's another strong suit of mine. And uh, I feel like um, I'm coming in there and I'm, I'm going to make an immediate impact, you know, in the return game and then, you know, work my way into the offense. And as a follow, they drafted in the fourth round, Kenny, out of your rival, Iowa State. You, you could be competing against him to be the kickoff returner. How do you feel about competing against an Iowa State guy, possibly in that regard? Uh, you know, competition, uh, you know, is, 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 is one of my things. So, you know, I'm, I'm always ready to compete. Um, we're going to get there and we're going to go to work. And, uh, you know, competition is, is what will make each, each player out there better. So uh, we're going to, you know, rise up and, and uh, get to it. All right, Matthew, followed by Craig Peters. Hi, Amir. Uh, just wondering what your draft day is like. It looks like you're somewhere nice uh, outside. Um, so uh, w did you have a lot of family around to party? I mean, just uh, what was this like for you? Yeah, so uh, it was, uh, it's, it's, yeah, we had one of my, my family members' house. Uh, we, we got together and uh, we just celebrating on, we celebrated all three days. The first day being, uh, you know, just, you know, congratulating me for, you know, get, making it this far um, through all the, you know, the, the things I faced in life. Um, you know, just coming from, you know, North New Jersey, um, being able to get to this point is, you know, big for us. So we, we congratulated me on the first day, day two, we sat down, um, you know, thinking it might be a call on day two and then, uh, day three, uh, we didn't get a call day two, day three, we got together and, uh, we just waited for that, that phone call. So, you know, we, we, you know, we celebrated all three days and, uh, you know, we're going to continue to celebrate, you know, after all this is said and done. Hey, Craig Peters, followed by Andrew Kramer. Sorry, can you just uh, maybe explain your familiarity with the Vikings offense and kind of the performance that Justin Jefferson turned in last season and uh, any familiarity with Adam Thielen as well? I know he already gave you a shout out. Uh, I, I personally didn't see the Adam Thielen shout, Adam Thielen shout out, but, uh, you know, I just, I can't wait to, you know, get, in, get into that offense. Uh, you know, it's one of those offenses where, uh, you know, the receivers, uh, you know, they make they make do with they with what they got. Uh, you know, with Stephon Diggs being a, a couple years ago, uh, thousand yard receiver Adam Thielen, thousand yard receiver, and then now Justin Jefferson, he came in last year, another thousand yard receiver. So that's the organization that get their receivers, you know, the ball and uh, let them, you know, do their thing with the ball in their hands. And uh, you know, I just can't wait to, you know, add my my piece to it and uh, coming in, you know, make plays. Okay, Andrew, followed by Courtney. I don't think Andrew. Courtney, get your card in there. Jump him. Okay. Um, hey, Amir, what's the key to your body control? Um, I know that that's something that, you know, a lot of analysts you know, tout about your ability as a receiver and being able to kind of go up and get it with 50-50 balls. You know, for you, where did you build that? And how is that something you think that translates uh, to your game at the NFL level? Uh, you know, I played multiple sports uh, growing up. Uh, and then, uh, you know, finishing off with, you know, water polo, and then track, you know, being a hurdler, uh, you just got to, you know, have tremendous body control when, you know, approaching an obstacle. And, you know, just being in control of basically your, your environment. So you, you, could, you know, move the way you want to uh, when you need to. And uh, it's just a, a, a praise to, you know, everything I've done in life, um, you know, all the sports I've played and uh, just being able to learn, you know, 
different things and, you know, want to use, you know, your body in di different ways. So I feel like it's a, it's a, a shout out to, you know, everything I've done in life, uh, just being able to focus in when I, when, when it's that time and, uh, you know, just excel in the moment. Dave Campbell. Hey, Amir, um, about the kickoff returning stuff, uh, you know, I'm wondering how much uh, talk you've had so far with the coaching staff, specifically about special teams and what you can do there. And, and in general, um, have you always seen yourself as a wide receiver first and then who's good at kick returning or how, you know, as you went through your college career, how much weight did you sort of give to the two skills? Um, so, uh, my uncle just put, but uh, so uh, I always view myself as a receiver first. Uh, that's you know, excellent. That's excellent. That's excellent at uh, returning kicks, and you know, I could do punt return too. So I de I definitely see myself as a wide receiver first, and then a return man after that. But you know, I'm I'm somebody that that take pride in the return game too. Uh, it's not just something that I like to do. I love to do it, and I feel like um, you know, taking on that challenge is you know gonna be one of the the better things for me and uh, being able to excel at that at the next level, at the highest level, is going to be good for me. Matthew Collar. Hey, uh, Amir, you kind of alluded to just uh, your journey to get to this point. Was there a particular moment or, or thing that, that you've been through that went through your mind when you got that phone call? Uh, shoot, just being where, I'm be where, where I come from, uh, you know, I'm from North New Jersey. Uh, not too many people could say they made it out of here. Um, it's you know, few people, you know, from my area that, that made it, but not too many of us can say we made it. And uh, just to, you know, get that phone call, uh, you know, thinking about, you know, I went to Weekway High School, um, only player on my on my team that, you know, go go Division One. Out of all of us, we, we was a, you know, a close a close team, uh, all mostly seniors, and just being able to be the only one to go, you know, it's, it's kind of tough. And then, you know, just being a God of light, you know, for up and coming guys, uh, you know, I just think about, you know, the impact that I, I have on them now, uh, you know, multiple young kids that, you know, reach out to me, ask me, you know, can I help them or give, give them advice? So, I mean, it's just everything I've been through in life, uh, you know, growing up here, uh, you know, it's just, that's all I thought about. Like I really made it. And uh, this ain't the, this ain't the, the end. This is only the beginning. Courtney. Amir, there haven't been a lot of Iowa wide receivers taken in the NFL draft, let alone those who have made an impact in the NFL. What does that mean to you to be, you know, one of the few? Oh, uh, it, it's incredible. Uh, I feel like it's opening up a door, you know, for the for the next, you know, group of guys. Uh, I feel like me and Brandon Smith had changed the room around in Iowa, uh, you know, with the talent wise and, uh, you know, being, a, you know, some of the top guys. I feel like we were some of the top guys in the Big Ten um, and uh, just being able to, you know, change that room around and then open up the doors for, you know, up and coming guys uh, that's that's in that room right now. And then, you know, more to come. I just, you know, it was incredible. And uh, I'm happy about it all. Eric Smith. Hey, Mayor, you had that big uh, game against USC in the Holiday Bowl, uh, I think a, a year or two ago. You had the, the three touchdowns in three different ways. Uh, how much do you think that game kind of puts you on maybe the national radar, you know, with it being a bowl game against USC, you know, like on national TV? Uh it put me on the radar big time. Uh, a lot of people, you know, commented about, you know, my performance that game. Uh, that's not, you know, something that's you could just do on a regular, I would say, uh, especially going against USC. They, you know, highly, highly, highly stouted, uh, you know, five star, you know, player team. Uh, they got these prospects, those prospects. And, you know, a little old Iowa were not supposed to be beating USC. But uh, when I when I, you know, get in those games, uh, I just think about, you know, I do go to Iowa, but I ain't going the name of the name of a school not going, you know, cap, you know, my abilities. So I went out there and I gave them boys, you know, a, a little taste of, you know, what, you know, somebody from small, small place, small school Iowa could do. And uh, that's just when that's just the mentality I have, you know, uh, when people overlooking, you just, you know, go out there and show them what you really made of. Courtney. So you played water polo. How did you get involved with that? And I guess, um, What's that like waiting in the pool the whole time and not being able to touch the ground? Uh, so uh, uh, I was a swimmer first, and then I went to school for swimming, found out they had a water polo team. I was, you know, in water sports, so I said, why not try it? Tried it, fell in love with it. Um, Could have took that all the way, too. Um, I was, I felt like I was one of the better players, you know, in that sport. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just, 
it, it teaches you, you know, patience, toughness. Uh, you know, when you want to touch the bottom of the, of the pool, you can't. And it just keep it just keep you going. Yeah, they, it just keep you going. Um, and and it, it, it's a lot of grit, you know, come from that game. Uh, you know, it's a lot of stuff people don't see underwater. Um, it just teaches you toughness and, 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 and grit, you know, just 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 that alone. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I, I love it. So I loved it. And, you know, it, it pretty much put me in, you know, the best shape to, you know, move on to football when I did and, you know, being able to su succeed off that.